Good morning. Good morning from Mammoth Lakes, and welcome back to Best Life and Beyond. <laughs> That's right, we're in Mammoth Lakes. There's Henry. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna go grab some breakfast and uh, get the day started. Yeah. Uh, it's breezy. Uh, the, the smoke doesn't look too bad today so far. Yeah, it's not as so. bad as it was yesterday. So our plan today, we are going to go up to the Devil's Post Pile in Rainbow Falls, hopefully. The devil went down to the post pile. He was looking <laughs> for a soul to steal. So yeah, we're Sorry. pretty we're pretty excited about that. It's gonna be my first time seeing all of that. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna start off with a really good breakfast at the stove. You've never been there. This Ooh. is my stepdad, Henry. They know we're Henry. staying with my if stepdad. follow the channel for any amount of time. Henry's, but welcome to new people. Henry's one of the cast of characters yes yes in the best life family so but we're being welcoming to new people who may have just found our channel this yes. is my stepdad henry yeah. my mom is gonna stay back and rest she's just chilling yeah gotta soak up all the vacation vibes all right let's go eat let's go i'm hungry there's katie's Ooh. lion that she got from the san diego zoo hello everyone Oh yeah, the stove, country cooking. It looks like the snow banks maybe got the best of the, the word stove at uh, some point last year, but look at there's a big boulder in front. There's the, the facade, which it looks like an old Western town. It's so cool. So here's the hours, seven to 2 p.m. Closed Wednesdays, because they like to watch what's happening Wednesday. That's pretty much what I figure. There's another good sign. I love how it's weathered. Let's head in. And when you first walk in, there, there's the stove, uh, the namesake of this establishment. Hi. Oh my gosh. Oh boy. Are we getting one today? I don't know. It looks like somebody's definitely got it in her sights. I like the clock, Bike Mammoth. This is what I tell Spencer every day. I love you like biscuits and gravy. You have said that to me before, actually. Yeah. yeah. I love the hats and the merchandise. I do too. You should get one. I think I should. Good mugs, beanies for winter. It's your step going in. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is one thing we appreciate about the stove is all the decor, all the antique decor. Oh, look, Katie's, there's the sugar. The food has arrived. Look at Katie with the bacon and eggs, and there's a pancake coming yes. on its way. And then huevos. Here's your biscuit. Well, our biscuit. Oh, we're going to share it, yeah. You think I'm going to eat all three of these plates? Come on now. Well, you know, yeah, Henry. I am hungry, but that's a lot. Yeah, there's the, there's the pancake. Focus, there it is, oh yeah. That's a skillet cake. And then I, speaking of skillet, got the sunrise skillet, they call it. Looks like it has everything but the kitchen sink, which I'm down with. And that's how, uh, that's how it's gonna go down this morning here at the stove. Yeah, cheers. Bang. Oh, that's good coffee. Oh, yeah. the way oh. <laughs> That's a good oh reaction, I think. Oh, yeah. Ooh, they make such good pancakes here. Everybody. It's like our pizza for the table. Mm. Welcome back to the stove. You have to try a bite of this pancake. It like should not be as good as it is. Yeah, that's really good. It ain't right how good it is. <laughs> yeah, legit. See what's up with this uh, biscuit. Mm -hmm. Oh, the stove. Oh, the stove. I am stoved. Stuffed. I'm Stuffed. I'm yeah. stuffed like a stove. Yeah, uh, so time for, for the day's activities and uh, we're gonna go drop Henry off. That lightly. was good. Good right. hearty breakfast. Onward. All right, heading up to the mountain, passing the village. There it is. It's a couple miles to the main lodge where we're gonna jump on a tram to go to Red's Meadow. And I believe that's where our trail will start for the day. If you get there early enough, 
you can actually drive your car in there, but you got to be there really early. It's a very limited amount of cars they allow down there. And uh, after a certain time, they kind of shut it off for the environmental impact, which I can totally get down with, and I agree 100% about that. So from right here, we're 13 miles from Devil's Post Pile. Okay, 13 miles from the Post Pile. That's so we got, right here. We've got a lot of driving to do, and then it will... We're about five miles from Main Lodge. Yeah, and then from there, we'll take a shuttle. Go from there. All right, it's very breezy. <laughs> We're making our way. I don't even know if they can hear us. Making our way up to the uh, shuttle to get into Red's Meadow. So here's the uh, Adventure Center. Shuttle tickets are normally given out right here at this window, but you gotta go inside right now. Kind of where it says lift tickets available to the left when you go in the building, it's kind of on that side. And we basically got uh, two adults, 15 bucks a piece to get dropped off at the trailhead. Uh, on the shuttle. Too bad Katie's afraid of heights because the gondola you can take up for scenic rides all the way to the top. You're only seeing not even to halfway uh, on this vantage but uh, obviously a lot of mountain bikers are using that for access as well but you can do a scenic ride you know there and back to the mid lodge or all the way to the top. All right here's the Red Meadow Devil's Post Pile shuttle bus boarding pickup spot right here. Bus has arrived. Woo! Gotta wear a mask on the bus. Yeah. Uh, this is the Red's Meadow shuttle. We're gonna stop by Agnew Falls. We're gonna uh, Agnew Meadows. Sorry, we're gonna stop by Devil's Post Pile, Red's Meadow, Rainbow Falls, all the good stuff. So if you see your stop, go ahead and pull the yellow cord. I'll try to call it out first. Hold on to your tickets that we stamped for you. That's your way out of the valley. The last bus leaves Red's Meadow at 7 p.m. Um, please wear your mask on the bus and hold on tight. It's about a 40 minute drive to Red's Meadow, so it's a little bit. 40 minutes? We're not going all the way though. We're just going to the post pile. Yeah. So, and you know what? Frankly, if I start to get too sick, we're just going to get off. <laughs> Hate to say it, but. All right, here we go. It's a 40 minute ride, so if you do the whole loop all the way, that's 40 minutes. Oh, okay. To go to the number 10. You're by Maylon? The Biking people. Yeah. Appreciate it. All right, there's the little report for today. Hazy, high of 68, low of 45 tonight. The trailhead is this way, bathrooms are that way. We've already visited. Cell phones do not work in the park. Stay with your group, Katie. Do not stray. Yeah. <laughs> John Muir Trail, Rainbow Falls 2.5. I think we're gonna try to make it to Rainbow Falls. All right. Oh, I see a dust storm coming up. I gotta keep my hat cinched because of this wind. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pretty wow, wild. Look at there's like a ton of dust. Dust in the wind. So it's 3.05 p.m. starting this hike. Uh, we'll see how long it takes us to do the, uh, the round trip if in fact we make it all the way to Rainbow Falls. We may just know. make it to the post yeah, pile, who knows? Do the post pile and then save that for the next time? I see a creek over there. Oh, that's what that 
Okay, we're going uphill. It's nice being in the trees though. Look at this. Here's Katie's favorite shot. Oh, so pretty. Yeah, there's the creek down there. So clear. The babble. The babbling brook. Lava lake. What? Oh, that's what the Devil's Post pile is. As, As the lake lava cooled, cracks extending from the top and bottom merged to form vertical columns. These columns remained hidden from view until glaciers exposed them. So it starts like this. This was the Devil's Post pile. It was all lava. And then the glacial gouging happened. There's the Devil's Post pile. Right, there it is. So then the thick glacial ice excavated the portions and hardened the lava to reveal its interior. And that's where it sits today. Yeah. That's Thank you for the science You're lesson, welcome. Katie, the geology. I mean, how else could you read a sign? Katie, the geology bear. <laughs> I like that. You are looking at the roots of a tree. The definition of gnarly. We're going to uh, check out the bridge on the way to Minaret Falls. Then we're going to go back. And we'll double back. There seems to be a little a cutoff, like so that you can do almost a loop like we're doing. All right, check out this bridge, huh? Don't take this bridge for granted. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is cool. Oh, wow. Looking back to the uh, little meadow there. Is that kind of like the postcard? Yeah, it's some similar, uh, similar, yeah, you can tell. Good eye. Wow. All right, getting the first glimpse of the Devil's Post Pile. Look at that, huh? Some boulders, some remnants, like kind of half developed. Even the, I always like that curved section. It's amazing. Up here, where it looks like it's, it was bending. Wow. Stepping down. I love the granite steps. Ooh, those are big steps. Ooh. <laughs> those are very big. <laughs> it's like a, oh. <laughs> it's like four steps. That's big. That's a lot of steps for you, yeah. You have long legs. Yeah. <laughs> If you have short legs, these are... <laughs> oh, wow! Look at that! That's incredible! Yeah, that's my, my favorite part is that curved section, how it like turns <laughs> Amazing. up there. Isn't that wild? I've never seen anything so beautiful. There it is. In all its glory, the moss is what looks amazing too. And then all the kind of the remnants that have broken off over the years. The pile. Is this the post pile down here from the columns? I read somewhere that it was columnar shapes or uh, rock formations. I don't know if it's columnar or columnar. I liked columnar. Sounded cooler. But it's almost like a tree. It's wild. That curve, though, is the sick part. That's so cool. It's like crazy to me how there's trees growing right on top of it. Yeah. This is amazing. It's wild, right? Wow. <laughs> Never seen anything so beautiful. I can't believe that. No. Whoa, balance beam. I am Cirque du Soquet. Cirque du Soquet tea. <laughs> there you go. What do you think? It's so great. Isn't it amazing? I haven't been here in a long time. When was the last time you came? Yeah. Probably in the 90s. Really? Early 90s, yeah. Wow. Which I don't even want to think of how long that was. Let's see. Good little spot. Look at this, like along the trail, how they're those hexagon shapes. Yeah, they have. They've used. Look at this, this is a perfect one right here. Yeah, that's a good one. Look at that. Wow. That's amazing. It's like diamond cut. So cool. You know? 
Might be able to get some good shots under here too. Look at this. Oh, look at this one here. Wow. Perfect columns. All right, headed to Rainbow Falls. We're gonna do it and I think we're just gonna take the shuttle back from there so we don't have to do the entire <laughs> loop back. And I'm already out of breath. I am a little bit too, but we're going up though. <sighs> altitude, Ooh. we're not used to it. Yeah, it's that altitude. And being out of shape. Two things that make me huff and puff. <laughs> I don't know, that altitude is pretty intense. You can kind of power through when you're out of shape. It's when you're like... Yeah. Whew, that's different. Go Katie. That is steep. <laughs> you got it. Bye master. All right, uh, here's the trail to the top of the post pile. It's currently closed. They're uh, fixing it up, making some adjustments, but it's just right up there. And if you can picture the tops of those columns being hexagon shaped, almost like stepping stones, it's pretty amazing. Too bad we're not gonna get to see it, but that's fine. We're gonna go trudge on to Rainbow Falls, two miles. Look at how big this tree is. It's a big tree. Oh yeah. Do you think if uh, nobody was out here that it made a noise? Really empty on the trail today, which we are grateful for. It's a Saturday and uh, it's pretty amazing. We're going the right way, Rainbow Falls. This way. And there's Red's Meadow Resort that way. Oh, okay. What's that, a resort? Yeah. <laughs> What's that, a resort? I, I, I would <laughs> I <like> assume, resorts. <laughs> based on the name. I like resorts. I can go there and have a nice beverage, <laughs> have a nice little uh, Arnold Palmer hammock, take a rest. A good nap would be delightful right now. Oh, you found the babbling brook. Listen to that sound. All right, we came across this giant stump that is adorned with pine cones. Looks like people, when they come by, grab a pine cone off the ground and wedge it in there. And it's become kind of a natural art piece. Look, there's even some rock, some some uh, Slab. slabs that kind of uh, put in there as well. Like this is like a collaborative art piece between uh, hikers on the trail. So Katie's gonna find uh I want the stick. Okay, are you gonna put a pine cone in there? I was gonna put a stick. Well you can put a stick, but I think Okay, I'll find a pine cone. How about this pine cone? Yeah, get me one too. This one. Thank you. you. Nice, look at that. Katie has chosen her cone. And my stick. And a stick. She's uh, gonna be special. Hold my, hold look my at, cones up together. Look at how this one they made like a table for him. That's cool. Hmm, I don't want it to fall. All right, place yours. This is like decorating a Christmas tree. Like, where are you gonna put your ornament? I'll put mine right here. Oh, putting yours right there. And my stick on top. Okay, and then I'll put mine right there. Balance it. it takes a steady together. hand. It's like a little balancing act. There it is. We're part of the part of the piece now. We've collaborated with random Very hikers. Cool. Water break. Ways to go, about a mile. Let's do it. Ah, another footbridge. Oh, Ansel Adams, one of the finest photographers there ever was. He had a love for these areas. Katie loves uh, the aspen trees, how they glitter in the wind. She's Recording some video for herself. She loves her shimmer trees. All right, we've reached the top of Rainbow Falls. There it is. Look, it drops right off. 
pretty incredible. Wow. So we'll make our way around. I've never seen a waterfall in real life like this. Wait, what? It's your first waterfall? Like a real like waterfall like, like this. Like a legit. Yeah, I've never seen one in real life. <laughs> well, let's get down there. <laughs> Look at that. Pretty incredible. We've reached Rainbow Falls. And you can see why they call it Rainbow Falls right there. No way. Oh my gosh, you can swim in it? Yeah. You see the rainbow? I do. Check out the stairs leading down to the bottom. Talk about a workout. We're not doing that today, but next time. You can see the moss down there too. Look at neon green moss. Amazing. How's that view? I mean, I just want to sit here and drink it in for a little while because <laughs> we made it. It's been an epic day in every way. Good challenge. This was worth it. I feel good just getting like you know, and I can say we actually got some fresh air because the air quality is good here right now. Yeah. Uh, it's been great today. Like I said, slight haze. Yeah. But better than we thought, though. Yeah, and it still is more fresh air than we would be getting where we live. So it, it's yeah. great. Um, I, I mean, it was quite the challenge. And now the big challenge is the bus ride back, but it's fine. Yeah. I know I can do it. I can do anything I put my mind to. All right. <laughs> gonna sleep good tonight oh so good so my mom and henry uh, my stepdad they went to shots bakery here in mammoth and they got some fresh baked sourdough bread so is that what you're looking forward to oh yeah when we get home tonight we're gonna have uh, some nice sandwiches for dinner like turkey avocado so that's gonna be good and again I, we are going to sleep great we got to get back and start editing though so it's you true. guys can come on this journey with us this is true the sun <laughs> is uh it's dipping on the on the horizon now. Yeah. It's I don't know what time is it now? It is now 5:15. 5:15. We left at like three o'clock, I think. Um, we started our hike uh, at Devil's Post Pile at three o'clock. A, a half mile from Devil's Post Pile at three o'clock at the drop-off oh spot, God, and yeah. now we're gonna hike back to Red's Meadow to get picked up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about a mile, about a mile, mile and a half. A little bit of uphill. A lot of bit of uphill. We got it. We got it. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video. You can let us know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel because we have a lot more. We're going to be in uh, Mammoth a little while longer and then we're going to Lake Tahoe. It's going to be epic. More adventures there. Uh, again, thank you for watching, like Katie said. And we'll see you next time on Best Life and Beyond from Rainbow Falls in Mammoth Lakes. Bye-bye, everybody.